What's up everyone? So today we are going to host a large language model locally and we are going to use it for auto completion or code completion in NeoVim. Similarly, you can use the same large language model in VS Code as well as IntelliJ IDEs. However, my favorite editor is NeoVim and I use it for development and that's what I'm going to focus on today. All right, for running large language models, I'll be using the help of Olama, which pretty much abstracts all the complex stuff under the hood. And uh, for providing language features like auto completion, I'll be using LLMLS from Hugging Face. Um, and as I said, they have three dif different ex extensions for um, editors like NeoVim, VS Code, and IntelliJ. If you're using one of these two, I believe you don't have to install LLMLS uh, separately. I think they are packaged into these extensions. That's how they usually would uh, do that. But I'm, I'm just assuming I have not used any of these two plugins. But if you're using NeoVim, then you need to install LLMLS separately from LLM.NVim. Uh, okay. I'll show, show you how to do that, um, but let's start all our service first. Uh, this is the docker compose file I have created. You can just copy and paste everything I have here. It'll work. And first I have open web UI. This is basically uh, a chat, chat GPT, but open source. I'm just talking about the web UI only. I'll show you that in a second. Here the most important thing is all our base URL. I have pointed it to the service running down below this one right here pretty simple stuff and olama is the actual uh you know service that's running the large language model here i have passed all the gpu into the container for this to work you need to install nvidia uh, container toolkit and if you if you're planning to run the model on cpu then you can remove all this but it's going to be really slow. I have tried it and it's so damn slow. Um, yeah, I highly recommend using a CUDA supported NVIDIA GPU and passing it through to the container. Here I have exposed this port right here so it can be accessed through localhost and a volume to hold all the models you're going to be downloading persistently that's all we have you can run docker compose up dash d pretty simple and go to localhost 8080 to access the chat thing for uh, for the first time you need to register you can just uh, add some random information this is not even you know valid if i open my user how do i open i don't know it's somewhere here um the email address is completely not something that exists uh, but it works because all this is running locally um, so here you probably don't have any models but you can select one and chat with the model uh, so to download models you can find a one inside models in uh, olama library I'm using DeepSeek Deep Seek Coder. I'm using the 6.7 billion token version. If you select that one, you can get the command for running that. This one right here. But find a one for your purpose. This is for uh, developers, but it could be something not related to development at all, maybe cooking. So find a model for your use case and download it. To download the model, I can go here. I'm going to exit out the editor, run a docker compose exe olama uh, and execute bash in the container. Here you should be able to access olama executable and do things like, let's say, ls. This will list all the models you have downloaded already. I have this one. But if you want to download a new one, you can just copy the code. You can see it's the tag is different. I have 6.7 billion base, but the tag is different here. So when you hit enter, it will start downloading. 
but I'm not going to download. Um, okay, so once it's downloaded, let's say, um, hello world in JavaScript. There we go. We got the auto completion. And next, we are going to do the uh, new configuration. First, let's install LLMLS. So I'm going to open up NeoBeam and go to Mason package manager. Yeah, I'm going to look for LLM LS. It's already there. You can hit simple I to start installing the thing, but I'm not going to install because I have it already installed through NixOS or Nix package manager. So if I type LLM LS, I can run it. Okay. Next, you want to create a spec for the llm nvim plugin this thing right here uh, i i have it already if you want to copy it's inside this repository right here inside lua i have plugins and llm in there this is the spec make sure to enable it first because i have it disabled uh, by default i have the same thing here llm I have enabled it here i have control j key to accept the completion item it's going it's only going to uh, um, give you one completion item and this is not controllable can uh, can be controlled through nvim cmp because they are not using the standard uh, language saver protocol uh, or the specification to implement the completion uh, yeah at the moment they don't even, uh, follow the standard here we have the path to llmls if you have installed it through mason it's probably inside dot local share nvim mason something something so you have to find that and pass in the path i i don't think as far as i remember it's sufficient to be uh included in in the runtime path i think you have to mention it here the uh path to the binary and here backend is olama the model is this one right here this is the one i want to use for auto completion and it's hosted uh locally so local host the port we have uh we had in the uh docker compose file that's all you want to have and uh, need to have here okay so now let's open up a lua file and let's see what it's going to do by default you can see it's giving me completion uh, already let's say what i want to do is um filter the array array of numbers by odd number filter something like this let's see it might not be perfect but in this case yeah i don't even know if this is working i could try i guess do a file the table how do i print Bim print let's try again yep that's working four five six um you can see it knows the pattern kind of uh, i can hit ctrl j let's try again there we go we have all the all the odd numbers from the array filtered out so yeah that's pretty much it thanks for watching have a nice day